Hey everybody, welcome to your trading day. This is one of our Tuesday and Thursday night training sessions and tonight we're going to talk about trends and trend channels. Trends and trend channels. So let's go ahead and get into it. So one of the first things I do every morning is I like to look at the 30 minute chart. Okay, it's just something I do. I want to get an idea of what the big boys are doing. And the 30 minute chart helps me understand it. Okay? So when I look at a 30 minute chart, most of the time, not a hundred percent, but most of the time I get an understanding of what the direction has been, right? I can look at this chart right here in front of us and understand that we are in a downward trend. Now, to make it easier to understand this trend, I want to draw a trend channel around it, okay? And a way that you draw your trend is this. When it's a downward trend like this, you start your trend at the top, okay, and it looks like this. In a downward trend, you start your trend at the top, and you want to touch at least three points. So it starts at point A, comes down to a point B, and goes through a point C, okay? That's the starting of the trend channel, okay? Now, to leave this trend channel here, all I've got to do is click it once, click my left mouse once, and then pull over my channel to meet the bottom of the channel, okay, the bottom of the channel, where it touches the most, right in here, and click it once, and I have my trend channel. Okay, very simple. In this trend channel, I can understand where I'm at, and you can watch another training video where I talk about quads. That's not this video, but these, this trend channel shows us four different sections which we call quads. Okay, and again, in another video, I talk about quads. Okay, so go back and look for it. Now, when you first pull up a trend channel indicator or a trend channel drawing tool, it won't look like this, okay? You are going to have um, just two lines, the outside lines, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to make your trend channel look like this, okay? Now, the first thing you need to know is where to get your trend channel at, right? So you come up here to this pencil, top left-hand corner. You click on it, and a bunch of stuff pops up. You want to scroll down and look for trend channel, okay? And there it is. You click on that, and you can draw your trend channel. Now, I'm going to teach you how to make it so your default trend channel is what you see here. So what I'm going to do is right click on my chart and I'm going to go to properties. Okay, I'm sorry, that's not true. See, I just made a mistake and I'm not going to even fix it on the video. So you guys can see I actually am human. You've got to left click on the trend channel and when you do that a bunch of black boxes pop now I can right click on the trend channel and go to properties, okay? And when I go to properties, a box pops up. In this box, there's a lot of items, okay? Let me take a snapshot of these items real quick. Hold on a second. It'll be easy for me to draw and tell you how to do this. So here's a snapshot of the box. Okay, and let me point out some stuff to you guys. 
So we have the trend line, and the box is already checked for that, okay? And we have the parallel line, whoops, hold on, don't get excited. We have the parallel line, which get, gets drawn with the line when you make your trend. That is also checked, okay? Now, I have changed the colors on these to brown on both of these. Okay, you can make the colors any colors you want. I made mine brown. I also changed the width. The width was one, and I changed the width on both of these to three. Also, the line itself is solid on both of these. Solid on both of these. Next, I want to add lines to my chart. So I want to check these three boxes, the top three boxes I want to check. Then I want to change the values here. Okay, when you first open it up, they're going to say 0, 0.0. Change the top one to 50.0, the next one to 25.0, and the next one is 75.0. This represents a percentage of the channel. So 50% is half of the channel. 25% is a quarter of the channel. Make sense? Next, I want to pick colors for these three new lines. The first line, I make dark green. It's in the middle of the channel. Okay, it's in the middle of the channel. We also call it the cash line, by the way. It's called the cash line. The other two lines I want to be blue just because I like that color and it stands out. As far as the width of the lines, I've changed them from one to two. So they're not as big as the brown lines, but they do stand out. And then from there, I make them from solid lines, I change them to dashes. Okay? Next thing I want to do is check this bottom box down here that says extend lines to the right. Extend lines to the right. Now, you can pause this video at any time, by the way, and do this, all right? But that's all I need to do to make my trend channel. All right? After I make all the changes, I want to right click someplace under the word template. Right click someplace under the word template. And when I do that, a box is going to pop up that says manage templates. I'm going to go ahead and click on manage templates. And a box is going to pop up, and I can name this template. I can name it. I named it quads because that's what they are. You can name it whatever you want to. Call it Jimmy John's. I don't call, care. Call it hard-boiled egg. I don't care what you call it. I call it quads. Okay? Then I go ahead and save it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. And that's all you need to do to have it um, pop up when you draw your trend lines. Now, every time you draw a trend line, this is what's going to happen. You're going to draw the first line, let go of your mouse, and you're going to bring it, I'm, I'm sorry, click once with your mouse, let go, and the other line is going to form. Click once, and you have your quads. Make sense? If you have more questions about trends and trend channels, I want you to come into the live trading room or come into one of our nightly, um, not nightly, but we do trainings every Tuesday and Thursday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Come into one of those and get your questions answered. Okay? That's it for this video.
i will see you live in the trading room.